Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Day before yesterday, on day number 116, we began the concept of exponents. We are going to do 10 videos in the series. Today is the third one in the series on the topic of exponents. The third one in the series of 10. And today is our lesson number 118. Problem for today is already on the blackboard. I'm going to go through the problem with you. Once I have read the problem to you, I want you to pause the video. I want you to do the problem yourself. And then once you have done it yourself, resume the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do, to get to, to, will do together in a few seconds time. Okay, here's the problem. We are being asked we are being told rather, or we are being asked rather, the value of, the question is, the value of 2 raised to negative 8 plus 2 raised to negative 9 plus 2 raised to negative 10 plus 2 raised to negative 11 divided by 3. This whole quantity being divided by 3, we are being asked, this quantity that we see here is how many times, is how many times this quantity right here this quantity that we see here, this quantity, is how many times the value of 2 raised to 11. This quantity is how many times the value of 2 raised to 11. Is how many times the value of 2 raised to 11. These are the answer choices. I'm going to give you 5 seconds to be able to pause and unpause the video and then we'll do it together. Alright, but what we need to understand here is that we have 2 raised to negative 11 here. So somehow we have to express this thing as some multiple of 2 raised to 11. To start out with, I'm going to ignore the 3 at the bottom here. We'll worry about the 3 at the bottom at the end. Let's not worry about it. Let's just look at 3. 2 raised to negative 8. 2 raised to negative 8 plus 2 raised to negative 9. I think I grabbed the wrong marker. This marker is dying. That marker was moribund. What was it? It was moribund. I don't know if you ever learned this word. Oh, we did learn it. What do you know? The marker that I got rid of was moribund. Just type in vocabulary words, whichever exam that you're preparing for. GRE vocabulary words, day number 71, vocabulary words, day 71, and watch the video where we learn the word moribund. Moribund means almost that is at the verge of dying, it's, it's going to take its last breath. That marker was moribund, it was almost dying, I had to get rid of it. Anyway, that was a slight digression. So 2 raised to negative 8, 2 raised to negative 9, plus 2 raised to negative 10, plus 2 raised to negative 11. And the question is, this quantity is how many times this quantity here, of course we have 3 at the bottom, as I said, we'll worry about it at the end, but somehow we have to get 3, 2 raised to 11 times something. So ask ourselves, how can we make this into 3 raised to 2 raised to 11? If you, were, if you were to take 2 raised to 11 as a common factor, if you were to take 2 raised to 11 as a common factor, then this quantity here would have to be 2 raised to 3. 2 raised to 3. Or if you like, if it makes it easy for you, negative 8 can be written as 2 raised to 2 raised to negative 11 plus 3. That's what we're doing here. Plus 2 raised to negative 11 plus 2. You see negative 11 plus 2 is negative 9. Plus 2 raised to negative 11 plus 1. So it's going to be 2 raised to 1. And finally this one is going to be 2 raised to negative 11 plus 0. Now they all have the power of negative 11, negative 11. So we can take out 2 raised to negative 11 as a common factor. If we do that, here we are left with 2 raised to negative 3. Or we are, here we are left with 2 raised to 3. 2 raised to 3. 2 raised to 3 times 2 raised to negative 11 gives us back 2 raised to negative 8. Plus 2 raised to 2. 2 raised to 2 right here. Plus 2 raised to 1. And finally, 2 raised to 0. That's it. 
2 raised to negative 11, 2 raised to 3 is just 8, 2 raised to 2 is 4, 2 raised to 1 is 2, and finally we know that any number raised to a power of 0 is just 1. Let's see what it boils down to. We end up with 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 5 is 15. So it's 2 raised to negative 11, 2 raised to negative 11 times 15. Or can we continue? We need the room to continue. But well, we can we can continue right here. And now I'm going to um, now I'm going to pick up this three here. So this is times 15. And now we put the three at the very bottom. The three that we had left behind here. Let's put it at the bottom here. And then 15 is going to cancel out with three, and it becomes five. And the question was, this quantity that we see here is how many times the value of two raised to 11 is right here. It's two raised to 11 times five. It's five times two raised to 11. This quantity is five times is five times 2 raised to 11. That was it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.